Hey guys, it's me, Vicki, Amputee Me, and I was going to make a video today about how I became an amputee, but instead I wanted to make a video of how I'm walking without a cane around my house. Now, when I'm out and about, outside and going shopping, I do use a cane because, after all, there's cement out there and I have fallen from the wheelchair into the cement before. And it does nasty things to your skin and to your knees. So I really don't want to do that. But every day when I'm home, I walk without my cane. If I'm out visiting people, like I stayed two weeks at my sister's house in Michigan back in January. And if she didn't have a lot of people over, I would walk back and forth and around without the cane. But if there was a lot of people there... I felt safer using a cane. Plus, I was introduced to snow and ice and stairs and all that good stuff when I was up in Michigan and managed to accomplish and maneuver all of them. But by the end of my trip, the whole back of the end of my stump was black and blue and that's from an ill-fitting prosthetic leg. And I'm working on trying to get a new one. But right now my car is in the shop. That's number one. Number two, I have to go back to the surgeon and get a new order for a new prosthetic leg. Number three, I change prosthetic places. Do not stay with the prosthetic place regardless of how nice and kind and family like they are to you if you are not happy with your prosthetic leg and they are not listening to your needs. Their number one concern should be what best fits you, not what they think best fits you. Um, I just had so many troubles and problems with this place from the get-go. Um, the first time they sent me home with this leg, I couldn't get it on. It never went on for a week. There was troubles I took it back and then we were able to get it on. There was troubles all along where I was missing PT because I couldn't get my leg on. Um, there were real simple fixes. I didn't receive a shrinker until four months after I had my leg. And then they gave me a shorter pin which stopped the problems I was having in getting it on. But all along I could fit my whole arm down my leg. Um, they end up putting a ratcheting device on the top of my prosthetic leg, on the top of my socket, and it was on the inside of my leg, and you would have to ratchet it down to tighten it down on the leg, and it caused a big bruise on my opposite leg, which to this day, this was four months ago, I still have an outline of the bruise. I eventually went back and had them take it off and told them I didn't need it. Um, they wanted to make sure I was sure I wanted it taken off. Yes, I was sure I wanted to take it off. So anyway, today's video is I am going to be walking back and forth down the hall to show you how I walk using no cane or no assistant devices. So here I go. So now that I'm back, that is a long haul, and me putting weight on my prosthetic legs does cause bruising, does cause pain. It will hurt like mad when I take it off for the night. Um, so I'm really in need of a new leg. 
So like I said, I'm working on that. And in the meantime, later today, I'm going to be working on a video on how I became an amputee. Three, four years ago, I would have never thought I was in this place. But here I am. And you know, it's not as bad as everybody seems to make it be losing a part of the body. I don't miss it. I was glad it was gone. Um, it's been a struggle to get to where I am today. Yeah, a struggle. But, um, all you gotta do is find the humor in it. <laughs> you know, it, that's what gets you through is finding the humor in it. And like I said, I don't regret that the leg is gone, but I would never have thought I'd be in this place today. So I hope you liked this video today. Give it a, a like, a thumbs up. I would much appreciate it. And there'll be another video coming out soon. Until then, see you next time.